billions of gallons of sewage-tainted water has flowed across the international border and out into the ocean in the past few months. The South County beaches were closed most of this year because of health risks, but the dirty water is also impacting air quality. Scripps Institution of Oceanography researcher Kim Prather says sea spray from waves is carrying bacteria out of the water and into the air. She says people are worried about the health threat, but that hasn't been studied yet. You can see it in the air, but what is physically getting into people in terms of respiratory? And so we start, we're also start, are starting to look at, um, we want to start looking at hospital admissions, and we also are looking at what gets indoors. Researchers sampled the air in Imperial Beach between January and May in 2019. They also sampled water in the Tijuana River and found aerosols from the ocean contained the same bacteria and contaminants present in the river. Matthew Pendergraft is the paper's lead author. He says the report gives added urgency to efforts to fix the region's contamination issues. We have an infrastructure problem um, that's causing not only um, polluted water, but here this research demonstrates that people in coastal communities like Imperial Beach are exposed to coastal water pollution even without entering that water. It's unclear what the health risks are. Researchers are trying to determine whether the airborne bacteria poses a risk like it does when bacteria is in the water. If there are health risks, it may lead to warnings about air quality when the weather churns up a lot of sea spray. Findings are published in the current edition of the journal Environmental Science and Technology. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.